Hello and welcome. Today I'm doing a review of this new Essence uh, Hydra Foundation. This is very interesting to me. I think they released it a couple of weeks ago, at least here in Europe. And first thing, this is supposed to be hydrating foundation. And the other thing is there is actually a good shade, shade selection, not just the usual four shades they tend to release. I do lean on the pale side, so usually I wear shade 10 in essence on also Catrice foundations. Now I picked number 20. In the packet it looks quite dark, but in the bottle or tube it looks better. Um, I will insert here some swatches about the foundation shades from Catrice and Essence with the shade 10 compared to this one, so you can see how how it is compared to them. And here are the swatches. This is the new Essence Hydra Foundation in shade 20. Uh, it's the second of lightest, so the lightest is 10 light porcelain or something like that. So this is definitely very peachy shade. In comparison, this is uh, the Essence Fresh and Fit Foundation, one of my favorites. Uh, shade 10 and then next to it is Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation the original one also shade 10 and then this one is Catrice HD liquid radiance foundation uh, also shade 20 uh, 20 10 um, as you can see there <laughs> is quite a lot of difference inside the whole essence Catrice family what they claim about this foundation is that it, uh, it's hydrating, it includes hyaluron acid and aloe vera. It's supposed to offer 24 hour hydration, which I highly doubt. Uh, and I wouldn't even have my makeup on for 24 hours, so I, I wouldn't need it. Um, but interesting to see how it uh, behaves on my skin and, and everything. So that's it. Uh, let's get into the first application and how my what my thoughts are. I'm going to have a full day wear test today and then I'm going to wear it uh, for a couple of days this week as well to kind of change a little bit the um, primers and powders and stuff to see how it reacts. Uh, today I'm working mainly from home so there's not much happening here unless my cat decides something else but we'll see. Uh, at the end of the day what the situation has been. But now let's get into the application so you can see my reaction and how it applies and, and how I feel about it. Right, as usual I will use my Shiseido Ibuki primer just a little bit and I mean a truly little bit of product to my nose which is the oiliest. This is usually where I get the uh, only shine in a day and a little bit here, but that's basically it. And then for the rest of my face, uh, by Terry CC Brightening Serum. This is the number one immaculate light. If you're not familiar with this one, this does give a little bit of this kind of pearlescent glow. Um, I still use this with uh, foundation test because I use this almost every day anyway, so I want to see how it works with the foundation I'm testing. And because I use it almost, almost every day, I can compare with the foundations I usually use. So that way I know where we are going. The packet itself, squeezy tube, um, nothing major. I think this shade is actually the actual foundation shade, let's see. And there is a safety seal, which is of course a great thing. The formula is not liquidy. Well, apparently it is, but it felt, it looked first uh, quite um, stiff and thick formula, and then it kind of softened. So very interesting to see how this works on skin. As per usual, my Smashbox Blurring Foundation brush. This is one of my favorites. Interesting, it feels kind of uh, thick foundation on skin, even though 
uh, on my um, plate it started running but there is this kind of um, interesting consistency in this foundation and it absorbs to your skin immediately. I do seem to need quite a lot of product. Uh, it might be the brush. Um, this might be a one that would require more kind of stiff and uh, thick and not so flimsy brush. Maybe I'll try with my nose. But um, it's very easy to apply nose streaks. Um, it kind of disappears to the skin. It leaves the coverage, but I can't kind of see the foundation on my skin, which is of course not a bad thing. It's very skin-like product and you can build it up at least a little bit. Let's test, test with a bit different brush for this area. Well, not so much difference uh, in application with these two brushes. Um, very interesting to see how this um, lasts. If it turns to... Now it feels like I feel something on my skin. It's a bit kind of... It's not dry, but it's it's there. Something is happening, so... Um, I don't know what I think about this. It's very... It, the fact that it feels like it's drying really fast and it feels it feels dry but it doesn't look dry. If, if you can get what I mean. It is very natural looking on skin. Um, I would say medium coverage. Uh, definitely not the full coverage. Um, uh, let me put the rest of my makeup on a little bit more to my nose and then I know a little bit more how I feel about this foundation. Alright, here is the close-up after I did my makeup. Uh, I powdered this side of my face and didn't powder except I have a little bit of bronzer and blush on this side but this uh, chin, nose, forehead are unpowdered. and. This foundation is borderline matte on my skin and it feels dry, uh, so uh, being hydrating foundation, uh, it doesn't feel hydrating, but it doesn't mean that it wouldn't be hydrating. We will see during the day if my skin starts to get more and more dry or is it going to change somehow. But uh, let me pull my camera a little bit back and, and give some other thought. All right, the rest of the makeup is on. I'm, I'm going to work at home today, so nothing major. Well, I don't have any, anything on my lips. Uh, let me put uh, these Catrice Plumbing lipsticks. Uh, I've been really loving this. As you can see, very sheer, not opaque. These are very creamy. Um, they say plumbing, but there's no this tingling sensation. I think it's just a glow or something like that. But they are very comfortable and I love the shades. This one is shade 10, so uh, if you're interested. At the foundation, uh, it looks really matte. Uh, I did powder this side of my face. I didn't do anything this side except powder, bronzer and blush on my cheeks. And I, I can't see any difference here, so uh, definitely the powder didn't do anything in mattifying sense. Uh, both look even, uh, on both sides looks really skin-like. There is the look, a little bit of look of makeup. -y. Um, I think it's because it did feel a bit um, thick on skin, so there is a little bit of that layer, but definitely not obvious makeup or kind of, oh, you ha have very thick layer of makeup. This looks still natural. You can see all my pores. You can see uh, the texture I have. And I would say it's medium coverage. Uh, I can still see hyperpigmentations coming through um, here. The primer I used uh, is an optical primer, uh, optical kind of correction. So 
um, the hyperpigmentations are not so visible because of that, but the foundation does blur them. The thing is that it's supposed to be hydrating foundation and at least for now it doesn't feel hydrating or even in the first application I didn't feel like this feeling it's hydrating. But that said, we cannot yet know if the ingredients are hydrating, how it reacts on my skin and, and after a few days how it's going to behave. So I will wear it today for quite some time. It's now uh, 9 o'clock in the morning and I will wear, it, wear this couple of days this week as well. So when I'm releasing this video in the weekend, uh, I, I can say more about this foundation. But my first impression is shade is um, actually really good. Um, and I love the finish, how it looks on my skin. It looks really pretty and if it lasts long, this is definitely a staple on me. Um, especially, I would say, during summertime now. But we'll see after the day how it reacts on my very dry skin situation now. But now, um, let's get to the this day's updates, check-ins, so we can see how it looks a uh, couple of hours later. Hello and good evening. It is currently 7 in the evening, so the makeup has been on for about 10 hours, which is quite a lot actually. Um, interesting news. Uh, since this morning when I felt kind of a bit dry feeling, uh, that feeling has faded away a little bit. Uh, my skin still doesn't exactly feel hydrated uh, and it is looking more matte still. Um, forehead and cheeks are pretty much, cheeks are as matte as in the morning, forehead is a little bit more kind of slightly glowy, satiny I would say. And then uh, next to my nose there is a little bit of oiliness but very, very little bit, much less than usually. And it has rubbed off from my chin uh, a bit, but again, not as much as usually. Uh, I tend to lean to my chin during the day. It has rubbed off my nose, but that's because of my gut. Cat has a little bit of cuddling situation need, urgent one, so this is a cat situation. I checked my face maybe um, one and a half hour ago and and then my the makeup in on my nose was exactly there. Uh, similar as here next to my nose, just a tiny bit oiliness. Um, I don't see much difference from, I, I powdered this side and I did it this side, so there's not much different actually. So based on first uh, day experience, I would say um, this is very good for combination and oily skins and dry skins if you prep your skin well or I would say that this would be a great foundation uh, summertime when my skin is a bit oilier although leaning to the dry side. But uh, I love the finish. The finish is exactly the same. The, the skin-like finish is there. Uh, it really holds oils really well. And it doesn't itch at all, so there's nothing like that. So um, I'm excited to try now with the different primers and a little bit different powders and finishes and see how it uh, works with those. So I'll let you know Possibly putting clips here, or if not, then there is more information in description box. So this is the conclusions for now. Um, definite thumbs up for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review and video, and if you did, um, you may consider giving a thumbs up. It would help me in, in YouTube algorithms. But now I wish you have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye.